Hi, I'm Anthony Crishon with Texas A&M University Center for Phage Technology, and I'm here today to present our lab's generic feature format Galaxy Tools and File Parser. Like GenBank, GFF, also commonly referred to as GFF3, is a file type for annotating specific locations and associated genome. As you can see, it's a nine-column format that's functionally very similar to GenBank, just with a couple more elements built into each feature. The file spec can be found at the Git link on screen, so I won't go in-depth on the minor formatting points in this talk, but one key difference to highlight is in the final column, equivalent to GenBank's feature qualifiers. The parent qualifier is a reserved word in the GFF spec, so hierarchy is built in. Many bioinformatic tools, such as BLAST, InterproScan, and TransTermHP, utilize GFF output. In addition to these, our lab heavily uses the Generic Model Organism Database Project's Apollo Annotation Editor for our visualization. Apollo is built upon GFF3 for importing, displaying, and exporting annotation tracks. Thanks to this, we are able to offer a bridge for bringing the output of these tools directly into Apollo annotations as part of a Galaxy workflow. Because of its widespread use and integration in our workflow, we also offer a number of our own tools for working with GFF. These can come in the form of analysis, like our intron detection tool, or in GFF formatting tools, such as the rebase feature tree tool. Finally, we also offer a variety of format conversions, both to and from GFF. In addition to major formats, like GenBank, we also support more specific outputs like tRNA scan, LipoP, or row term predict results to annotation ready GFFs. And of course, for NCBI GenBank submissions, we can also convert to common database formats like 5 column tab or again, GenBank. Many of these tools are built on BioPython, in particular the Seek feature object, which I'm sure many of your labs use as well. Unfortunately, GFF is not natively supported in BioPython, and there is no actively maintained community solution. Our prior solution relied on a version of BioPython that is no longer available on Conda for distribution. This meant that not only could we no longer update our BioPython package, but our tools were also essentially non-portable to any other Galaxy instance. Therefore, we decided to develop our own solution to GFF parsing. Going into this project, we had three goals. First, it had to be lightweight and portable for compatibility with Galaxy. Second, we wanted more robust error checking at the parsing step. And third, we wanted a solution which would require minimal editing to the main body of feature analysis in our tools, i.e. we only wanted to have to worry about the parsing in and writing out of files, and not have to extensively rework anything else in our flow. To accomplish this, we extended Seek Feature as the GFF Seek Feature class. The changes are minimal, as we generally want all Seek Feature functionality to remain intact to preserve compatibility with other records read in by Seek.io. The primary difference is the restoration of the deprecated subfeatures property, which allowed us to keep our lab's workflows intact. Additionally, we've moved the phase, score, and source fields from the GFF spec directly to object properties in order to help preserve these fields between Galaxy jobs without cluttering up the qualifiers field. Otherwise, it's the same seek feature as ever. In addition to the GFF seek feature object, we also offer GFF write and GFF parse I.O. functions. Like Seek I.O., these operate on Seek record objects. Because GFF does not have as full body to header as GenBank does, GFF write provides a variety of optional arguments for customizing the metadata output at the record level. Our lab tends to strip as much of this as possible, which is reflected in the default arguments for GFF write, but users should be able to use it to preserve or add data to their headers as they like. GFF parse similarly allows different levels of suppression at the input stage, as well as allowing customization to some input assumptions relating to type, based on your lab's needs. Unlike GenBank, the sequence portion of a GFF is optional. If you wish to recombine them, the sequence for an organism can be supplied by a dictionary, whose keys are the organism ID of the GFF record, and the values are seek record objects that would be read in from the seek I.O. of a FASTA file or similar. This method is a bit of an artifact for maintaining compatibility with our old parser, as many of our tools output a GFF without a FASTA portion, but more fully written GFFs can avoid this anachronism.
In practical terms, our internal rollout was a success. After some initial testing, we were able to replace our old parser with the new one in all but two of our 50-odd tools, using nothing more than bash commands to substitute the relevant imports in our Python scripts. Initially released as a PyPy package, we are also pleased to announce that the parser is now available as a Conda package to more smoothly integrate it within Galaxy Tool XMLs. If you have any questions, I'll be available in the poster session and happy to answer them, or we can be reached at the GitHub repository on screen. Thank you for your time, and have a great rest of the conference.